they're, they're a pretty good team. I mean, they've had a little bit of hard luck this last week, but uh, I expect that they're, they're going to make life miserable for a lot of teams. Um, so it's good to get the first one against them. I thought that uh, our brains offensively finally turned on in the third quarter. And uh, we threw the ball to a person who was really hot. And then when our other one got out of Asia, we threw the ball to her, and she quit playing at the three-point line and got down into the basket. And uh, when they got double teamed, they found our guards, and, and we made shots. And I thought we were really good defensively. Up and, you know, and they made, they made some pretty incredible shots uh, down the stretch. But, Probably good to play a good late game situation one like that also for us to, to learn about you know handling uh, presses, fouls, uh, three point heaves, all those things and uh, you know and you survive the game. So obviously Tina had an incredible offensive game. We had a few other people chip in pretty well today too. Kara thought uh, making the three she did down the stretch were, were big and taking the pressure off everybody else. So it was good. Is that just their MO, never say die, as far as Washington's Washington? concerned? Oh, yeah. I mean, they were that way last year, and they were struggling to win. They got more talent this year, and they play hard all the time. Trudy does a great job of getting them to play hard. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be in the race all year. Your free throw shooting was exemplary, yeah. uh, especially in the fourth quarter. How much um, emphasis in practice do you put on? I don't, I, don't, I don't ever talk to them about free throw shooting unless we have a particular individual who's struggling. Uh -huh. We shoot free throws sometimes as part of practice, sometimes on their own. Um, our players pretty, are pretty much conscientious about getting their own work at it. They have their own routine. If somebody in particular is struggling, uh, they usually get a visit from me uh, for a little bit. But we have, we have, by nature, a lot of good free throw shooters. So. I was going to say, do you, do you feel that, that your team is a yeah, yeah, we are. I mean, I think we're leading the league. I know we're shooting 84 or 5 percent as a team for the season right now. So um, hopefully that will keep up. Um, but you know, we shoot them a lot of times when we're tired to try to duplicate what it's like in a game. Um, I think that's the best time to shoot them is when you're when you're most tired. Mm -hmm. And so we do it in practice when we're tired, and do it after practice when we're tired. So, but they do most of it on their own. You held Curry scoreless in the second half. Yeah, I mean, I thought Kalina. Uh, in particular, but other people got it, but I thought Kalina in particular uh, did a really good job on her. Um, you know, we tried to keep her in on Curry as many minutes as we could. They were pretty close to matched up in minutes. And, uh, you know, I think she, Kalina really, you know, stayed in the scouting court on her and did a good job. Did the, the shooting performance on Friday night, did you view that as an aberration or was there something I With this team, I don't know yet. You know, no, we, we didn't really talk. What I, what I told them is if they want to be three-point shooters, uh, then they better be in the gym a lot shooting that game speed. And uh, you notice we only took eight tonight and we made half of them. Um, some nights you have to take more because of how teams play. They double team and they clog it up. But I thought we were more persistent about getting the ball inside today than we were uh, the other night. Um, we were better at it. Some of that was, you know, a little bit of soul searching after the game the other night to make sure that you know your best player does get touches uh, enough. You know your best off the whoever's hot that night gets the ball. And uh, and luckily you know in that third quarter, Malaysia and Tina and Kara uh, got the most shots. You worry about the killer instinct, so to speak. You're up 57 43 and you uh, didn't close the door. I don't know. I think that's more pro basketball than anything because in in, in our league. There's not much difference in talent between teams, so killer instinct's a little bit ir irrelevant in our league, I think. Um, you know, those guys, uh, they're here for a reason too, and they make shots too. Um, I just, I, I think the, the killer instinct that bothers me is, is the couple careless turnovers we had when we had leads. Uh, that you know, those, those you can't have. If you're going to have a turnover, make them have to take it out of bounds. Uh, and walk it up the court to get in a place that rather than having a steal pass and get it on the run. And they got three or four of those to keep them in the game. And then they got an interesting call that I still need to have explained to me. Uh, I, I didn't think it was a play on top of it, but we'll see. Hey Mike, you've been involved in building and rebuilding teams over the course of your entire coaching career. 
Now, two years ago, this was a playoff team. Last year, Trudy tried doing it with a lot of young players. Didn't work out very well. This year, she brought in a bunch of veterans. Can you talk for a second just about the difference in trying to bring in veterans and putting together a team you know, on the fly like that? Um, I think they're trying to blend their team. They still have uh, in Thomas, Adjabon, Lacey, Quinn, Langhorn, and Curry still relatively younger players. Um, but luckily, they have Langhorn and Curry in that group and Quinn who have played, you know, for a bit. So I think they're maybe kind of where we were a year ago when you bring in a couple of veterans like we brought Kara in, uh, you know, to try to help build that. Um, it's hard. I mean, it just, it, it, you have so many good teams in our league that it's hard to turn around. But I think, I think they have enough talent to compete for, for a playoff spot now. Um, remains to be seen. But I think that they've done, you know, they didn't have the draft pick. What, whatever happened on there, you know, that's, that's their issue. But when you don't have that, the best way you can do it, you're not going to find somebody as a general rule late in the first round or in the second round who's going to turn around your team. So if you need new players, then you got to go find them somewhere else. And they, and they found some ones that are also hungry. A person like, you know, Snow and Ashley Robinson uh, can be more of a contributor here maybe than on the teams they were the last couple of years. And so they see an opportunity and, and they know they need to make the most of it. Sounds good. Coach, uh, Tina was one shy of her career high in points. Was that uh, one of the more dominant scoring performances you've ever seen from Tina? I thought it was because we needed every one of them tonight. You know, some nights you can get big numbers, but you're, you're beating the team by 15 or 20. We needed every one she got tonight. And I thought she knew that the pressure was on to score tonight, and, and she stepped up. I just was mad at the end of the second quarter. I, we went the last three minutes again. We go through these stretches where, you know, she's really playing well, and we'll call plays for it, and we don't throw the ball in. And uh, so that's kind of a riot act they got right at halftime. So as you saw at the start of the third quarter, she and Asia touched the ball almost every time down the court for the first four or five minutes. And it makes a difference.